Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I make a look today inspired by Glam Goth Beauty herself, honey, okay? I, the hairstyle, her makeup, the hairstyles, the everything is just bomb. And so I ordered a couple of things from her site. And so I just wanna go over them quickly and I'm just gonna come up with a little makeup look and throw in some of my things as well. And so this is Glam Golf Beauty Review slash makeup tutorial slash Honey Love Beauty makeup tutorial slash you know it's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I'm touching bases on but um so I did a wig which I'm gonna put on today and it's like like a little mini bob type situation and I'm doing part to the side and I actually have the same corset that she had in one of her um Instagram pics the small one with the skulls on it you'll see it later I'll do a little reveal after but I'm just going to go over the things that I purchased and yeah so this is the Glam Golf Beauty original diamond primer it's phenomenal for glitter it's absolutely amazing and you can use it with other glitters too you don't necessarily have to use it with her glitter um but I love using it with all types of glitters including hers and this is the new and improved diamond primer and obviously it's a whole lot bigger than this one and she was saying the formula is a little bit more uh, tackier and stickier so that the, the adhesion is a little bit better I know when you put this on it almost feels like water which is cool because I mean it's not uncomfortable you barely feel anything on your lid and I know that this is going to be the same thing because she never disappoints so I'm going to be trying this one today and then I have a little glam goth beauty mirror it's so cute I love the little heart situation and then her monogram are all over it and then obviously this is the mirror part and then I got me two more um, glitters I have a few of her glitters I have like six or seven of them um, but I just wanted to get two more because these like stuck out to me this is toxic and this is I'm Am Amor, Amor and these are this is like a pink fuchsia glitter and this is like a yellow um, neon green glitter so I'm gonna be playing with these today and I might go on with both I don't know I don't know I don't know and then obviously it comes with the glam golf beauty sticker and then I actually had in my order the slayer sheet I think it's called the slayer sticker sheet the little skull her um that wing that she always does she kills it with the wing for makeup and then little web and then the little is this love potion yeah it's a love potion it's a little rose i think this is the one in her is it it's similar it's similar and then i'm guessing well obviously this is supposed to be her but this is so cute i love it and then the little knife which is really cute and then her little poster cards these are like bomb and then we have our little I think this is the vortex let me get this right The Elegant Blood Rose Slayer set. That's the one I had got. And this is what the makeup bag looks like. It's super nice. It's soft. It's um we call it velvet. And then obviously you have your little space here. And then I love this little area where you have your little um compartment for like little things. I wear these little makeup bags sometimes as purses. Um I just I like to do that. <laughs> And then I have um, one that I got from Amazon. This is like a coffin little one. And it's actually, literally, it's a makeup bag. Like you take for travel, you put it in your suitcase or something. But I like keep it as a purse. I mean, I use it as a purse. Little slots here for your brushes. But I like little bags like this that I can just like take with me and throw all my stuff in. I like it. And then it helps me from not, because if I have a big bag, I'm going to put my whole life in it. And that's gonna be hard on my back so 
I'm just doing it. And then lastly, we have the, I want to get this right. Hold on. Uh, the Love Kills Blade. So that's what this is called. The Love Kills Blade. And it's a pocket knife, if you will. And then I love that it has like a little clip here that you can clip it on your clothes. And then you just, hold on, that was horrible. Boom. And this is what it looks like. This is so nice. And then if you see here, it mimics her bat wing that she always does. It's epic. Freaking epic. Alright, so let's close this for somebody gets hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna put everything in my little makeup bag here, but I'm gonna be going in with the glitters, obviously. And I'm gonna be using my little mirror and the little glitters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my little necklace on. This is the necklace that literally says my name, Demi. And I got this from Dorian. Dor it's a little shop on Instagram. Um, but it's super cute. Um, I bought my mom and my sister one. They even took a shower in theirs and it didn't turn any kind of weird color, which is awesome because with jewelry that you buy on like little sites like that, they tend to turn and tarnish and you know. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's so cute. Let me zoom you in. So that's what mine look like and this is I'll list the link in the description box below. And let me see if I have the oh Dorado DoradoFashion.com. So they sell like little pendants and little name plates, necklaces. There, it's so cute. And this is the name of the place. And yeah with our first aid beauty ultra ultra hydrating repair cream yeah mm. there's too much i think i'll put too much on but it's fine before we get started i'm gonna go in with my lip gloss this is the rose gold fantasy and this is what it looks like and it literally has rose petals in it and flecks of gold. And it's just a really pretty, simple, clear lip gloss. And I want to put it on just for hydration of my lips because I don't know what kind of lip color I'm going to go in with. Um, but yeah. And it is buildable glossiness. Like you can go in a couple of times to get a certain. but yeah and this is again um by honey love beauty which is my brand and these are our new lip glosses this is rose gold fantasy and then this is lust flame and this is just like a fuchsia reddish color with gold flakes in it it's so pretty and they smell so divine it's not like a a harsh smell it's a nice little scent i just wanted to have a nice little scent in there because when you're doing things homemade um you have to be careful with people that have you know nut allergies um allergic to certain flowers or things like that so i just try to keep my ingredients all my lip glosses are made with grapeseed oil and um olive oil or grapeseed oil and vitamin e oil or grapeseed oil and jojoba oil so that is what they're made with and then we have another well two more our pixie one and then our black magic one and these are just absolutely divine i mean they are great toppers and the packaging is like to die for and these retail for nine and then these retail for ten dollars and you're getting more product in this one which is obviously the reason why that's a little bit more well, a dollar more okay, so we can get this video and hopefully i don't use all three of my batteries hopefully this is enough because i talk too much that's what this is i talk too much stop talking girl okay so i have my primer on i use the ultra repair hydrate, intense hydration um, by first aid beauty and then i went in with my putty perlis primer by oh um, 
should I put the other one on too or just that's fine. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of translucent powder just to set my eyebrows because my eyebrows have issues sometimes. They don't want to stay put. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my big fluffy elf brush. This brush is like super duper soft and it's so cute, it's clear. So I'm taking a little bit of powder and just dusting my face, my teeth off. That's where I get extremely oily. And I know it looks like I'm probably doing the most with this, but I'm, it's not a lot. I'm not putting it on. I'm gonna put a little extra on my eyebrows because I don't want them suckers slipping and sliding. You feel me? Dorothy Dancer's one and I um anyway <clears throat> so now the brows and I'm actually gonna try the, I'm gonna use the Glam Glock Beauty Diamond Primer to ooh this is sticky to keep my brows up. Let's see how that works out. So I'll put a little bit of the, the new formula diamond primer. Oh yeah, this adds a nice little bit of stiffness and it lifts the brow a little bit, you see? So I'm gonna just... Work the product like that. Then I'm gonna take my pencil. This is the by Thrive Cosmetics. It is called Serena. And it's like a um, dark chestnut brown. And I'm just outlining this shape.
Okay, so with the pencil, I'm outlining the shape and filling in the tail. I'm just doing light strokes in the front. I just own a natural brow. I don't want it to be too harsh. Okay, so I'm going over my um, Morphe angle brush. It's just a dual ended one. And brush everything together. Then I'm going to take my Morphe brow powder, brow pomade, and latte. And I'm going to take a little and just fill in my brows. Okay, and I do have a hooded brow, so, I mean, a hooded brow, a hooded lid, so I have to be careful with my colors that I go in with, so, let's see. I am going to do some transition shades first, so... I'm going with my P. Louise, and this is in the number uh, rumor four. So this is just it's like a skin tone color for me. And I'm gonna go in with my black opal in the shade Honey, and just put a little bit of all over the the lid into the just to really cancel out any darkness. Because the top of my lids, the lid area, it's a little bit more. I don't know, the color is just a little darker. And I like everything just to mesh well. So I'm going to be oops, cleaning up my crease. Cleaning up my crease and, you know, concealing the brow with this. And I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number in it because I got this in a set, but this is what it looks like. Just putting little dots right up under the brow.
And I just take whatever's um, on the brush, cut this hair, and just diffuse it. Because I don't like that a brow. Like, I just don't like it. It don't look good on me. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, so I went in with the P. Louise um, primer. Okay, so. And I'm doing one eye at a time because I don't know what I want to do. So I think I'm gonna go with my B um, Carnival palette, uh, Love Tahiti, Stacy Marie makeup artist, and this is by Be Perfect Cosmetics. The packaging on this is amazing, and this is the palette, and this is what the colors look like. And look at that freaking mirror, y'all! That mirror is insane. Look at these colors. This palette, this color, this palette is you need this palette in your life, like period. But, oh my god, all these colors are beautiful. I'm gonna go on with Yeah. I'm gonna go on with Coco. And it's just like this really pretty rust color. like a burnt burnt orangey rust color and I'm gonna just use this as a transition shade Ooh. and I want it kind of like kind of up so let me just blow this out a little more I'm gonna go in with Juvia's Place the Nudes palette and I'm gonna go in with this like caramel color. Juvia's Place need to get mirror situation going because this girl. Blueberry, I mean blackberry. And I'm gonna take the smallest amount and put it right, right here. I'm just shimmy it right here. It ain't gonna go no further. No, no, no. I just want to keep that color right here. Just to give me like an eye socket, you know what I'm saying? Because my eye is just... I 
Then I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go with uh, Pink Lily, which is this really pretty fuchsia -y kind of pink color, and I'll see what happens. Yeah, because I want this to be kind of big, but I don't want it to. So I'm going to take it halfway on the eye, but more so give me some lid space. Lily. And it's literally like a hot pink. And I'm going to pat this all over the lid. Boom. I don't want to do the directly, so I'm going to take the brush I can seal my brows with and just take some on the back of my hand. The new sticky one from Glam Golf Beauty. I'm going to take it and pat it just on the lid space. Nothing, nowhere else. Well, on the area where you put the paint down. Oh, it is stickier. Mm. I like that. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I had dropped one, so. Take a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with my little mixture concoction I made and just. Oh my god. Yeah, come on now. You know y'all see this. So pretty. There ain't nothing to play with, y'all. You see my lashes? And I'm just gonna take them. Like I said, I'm gonna put my lashes on after I do my face. So now my face is done basically. 
I mean, the primer. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Elf foundation in suede and then I'm gonna take my L'Oreal True Match in Warm 7. And I'm normally this color. Oops. That was one. Yeah, this is too light and this is too dark. So let's just see what happens when we mesh the both together. Do my Morphe as well. This is the M44. Okay, so you can see this is pretty much a good match. L concealer hydro hydration cameo concealer satin finish honey Same brush. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going in with my powder. And this is just that banana powder. It's going in with a regular beauty sponge, and then I'm going to mix that with the infallible powder. The infallible powder is just, it's amazing.
Okay, so. This brown brush, this is by Juvia's Place. I'm going in with my contour. This is the only contour palette that I like. Like, I just, just the only contour palette I like. Period. I'm gonna try another one, but for now, this is, this is it. So I'm gonna take it up here and just buff it. And I'm keeping it as high as possible because, oh honey, yes. Okay, just taking the excess on the sides of the forehead. And I'm going to take the darkest one. Cool. And just push it up. And I'm gonna go in with some trims. Oh no. Just take off the access and really just. I'm gonna fix that green because it kind of got taken away from the foundation. I went too hard with the foundation. I think I'm gonna smoke out the bottom with pink. So let me do that right now. So, mm -mm. Whatever left on this brush. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. I go with the pink lily. Take that on the outer part of the eye and just smoke it just a little.
Then I'm going to put a little bit of the primer. I'm going to take this little bitty tiny fluffy brush. Then here's the fun part. I'm going in with my lashes from my lash brand, Honey Love Beauty. So go to honeylovebeauty.com if you want to cop these. These are in the style CEO. This is how the box looks. This is my logo. And then if you just slide it out, there are your lashes. And these are the style CEO. So let me show you how these babies look. These are insane. Like, are you kidding? Like, pause this video and go stop and cop these right now. Like, you need these lashes in your life. Look at that. It's real wispy and pretty from the end to the middle and then in the center. I mean, towards the tear duct area, it just gets thin, which leaves all the drama on the outside. It's absolutely phenomenal. The lash is bomb. So I'm going to put some I'm going to say I'm going to put some mascara on my lash. I'm going to put some glue on my lash. This lash is bomb. What? Oh my god do y'all see that and the band is so comfortable and it's so lightweight it's crazy Ugh. wait do y'all see that we love it So yeah, these are my lash and the style is CEO. That's what they look like. They kind of match the box. I love it. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl lip liner in brown.
okay and go in with the glam goth beauty Love liquid lipstick in the shade perish and it's like a chocolate nudie color i love this freaking color it's amazing And with my lip gloss, this is the one in Melanin Goddess. So I'm gonna take this and just Girl. <laughs> Do you see this? So this is a lip combo of two pencils. So this is the this is a beauty supply brand Nobby and it's called Current and it's a lip liner and it's like a magenta no uh, plum color and then this is uh, la girl lip pencil in brown it's literally a dark brown then i went in with glam goth beauty lip lipstick and perish and then i went in with my lip gloss honey love beauty honeylovebeauty.com and this is in the shade melanin coffee goddess and it literally has a hint of coffee smell in it which is amazing so this came out bomb that's all i gotta say created this wig last night um it was long but i had cut it and straightened it and i like the way it came out so we're going to put her on and i got this wig from aliexpress i've had it for like two three years and it's like bomb hair. So I'm just combing it. So I'm just going to play with it a little. Kicking it pretty far down. And then tucking it behind the ear. Like that. I'm gonna just leave this part out. Ooh, I feel like a different day. Is she not cute or is she not cute? Like, come on now. My whole headband, and these are on my website as well. So don't forget to go to honeylovebeauty.com and copy a couple of pieces. Let's see this. Like I feel like <laughs> I'm wrong with this because it matches the earrings a little more.
Okay. So this is what it looks like. This is how it came out. I'll do pictures at the end. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And hit that notification bell for every time I post. These earrings are on my website, honeylovebeauty.com. Be sure to copy a pair. The lashes are on my website, honeylovebeauty.com. And the lip gloss is on my website. And this is the melanin, um, sorry, melanin Coffee Goddess. And this is what I use to top off the lip. And, yeah. The headpiece is on my website as well. I mean, look at that shine and that bling, baby. And they match the earrings. So be sure to cop you a headpiece and the earrings and some lashes and your gloss. So stay tuned and I will be doing like the full reveal. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a phenomenal day, y'all. And yeah, don't forget to come back for more. Mm -hmm.